Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Maverick Vlogs. Today we are going to be talking art again. This time we're going to be looking at the history of mystery in the art world. And recently I've been looking into an artist called Mark Lombardi, an American artist, a controversial artist, a, a long forgotten artist who died a suspicious death. Basically, he's famous for these diagrams that he made out of research he did into government officials. And these diagrams basically show the connection between government officials, intelligence, banks, and organised crime. So you can tell from that it was stepping in quite deep waters. And a lot of conspiracists believe his death was staged, because from what I've heard from research is that Lombardi was quite a well put together man and he didn't have any history of depression or any weird like kill yourself diseases like that. But what fascinates me the most is the fact that he died at the peak of his success when these diagrams were starting to be quite well acclaimed in his country and he was found hung in his room alone next to a bottle of wine. Suspicious. <laughs> So basically I prepared a kind of minimalist kind of art piece for you guys drawn out of, sort of inspiration into some of the research I've been doing and basically this piece I like to call Riders of the Storm and it explores the elite powers that run society so you see this red area here that's that's the area being affected, so that's society, that's us. And this dark area here basically explores the unknown information kept kind of exclusive from society. And if you look closely, you'll see these gaping holes with gaps of light. And this basically represents information that's been let out, say, maybe a government scandal, or maybe it's to do with something like public surveillance, because we all know about that because of good old Edward Snowden. Now, I don't really have much more to talk about on that topic, I'm afraid, but fortunately we have Leonardo DiCaprio here who knows about world issues. He's an animal rights activist, a global activist, and a soon to become vegan. So Leo, what's your thoughts on this topic to do with art, society, and the elite powers that run it? Well, I feel like art is an invisible force, and realistically cannot function as a weapon to defeat elite powers that control us. Art is only there to question the odds, without fixing our society. Some would say art is useless, yet we run to art for freedom, security, and mental relief. Like me, being surrounded by all these paintings, I feel I can be anything, yet it's a mental thing rather than a physical thing. Art only exists in the mind. I think to rid ourselves of elite control, we should all put our heads together and become merely thoughts, creating, sharing, and collaborating as one collective consciousness. Well, I have to say, I found that all pretty hard to absorb, but... You kind of get the gist of it. Now this is quite a sketchy area I'm dealing with in this video, so if I die suspiciously of a heart attack in like the next few weeks, you probably know why. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and click subscribe. Please. <laughs>